He is the greatest perfumer in all of the world. And then one day he's standing there and he goes, he smells the smell. It smells like peaches and it smells like girl, but it smells like something he has no idea of. He's catalogued every single scent, a million scents. And he follows the smell across the left bank onto the right bank in Paris. He comes to a window. It's a young virgin girl, about 14 or 15, eating peaches. He looks at her. He has never smelled anything like her. And so he goes to the window and he grabs her and kills her while he's smelling her. Oh. And she dies. And then he goes about the task of making her into a perfume. <laughs> and he does it for 20 years. <laughs> he makes 20 perfumes out of 20 virgins. Until he's the most notorious murderer in the world. And they catch him and they're going to behead him. He says, I have one last witch. Give me my back. And he put all the perfumes into one. And he goes, like this. The perfume comes out across Paris. The whole city turns into an orgy. And they fuck him to death and kill him. <laughs> Well, I've read Perfume by Patrick Susskind about ten times in my life, and uh, I can't stop reading it. It's like something that's just stationary in my pocket all the time. It just doesn't leave me, and every time I'm bored, like I'm on an airplane or something, I read it over and over again, because I'm a hypochondriac, and it just affects me. It makes me want to cut my nose off. What's the book about? It's about this um, perfume apprentice in, in um, France, at the turn of the century, and he um, he uh, is disgusted basically with all humans, and he just can't get away from humans. So he goes on this trek, this uh, walk of death, where he just he goes into the rural areas where there's you know woods all over the place and the small villages, and and he only travels by night, and um, he he just every time he smells human like a fire from a far off way, you know, he'll um, he'll just get really disgusted and hide, and he just tries to stay away from people. And they're going to behead him. He says, I have one last witch. Give me my back. And he put all the perfumes into one. And he goes, like this. The perfume comes out across Paris. The whole city turns into an orgy. And they fuck him to death and kill him. <laughs>